Hey guys, my name is Bobby from Wedding Film School, a channel dedicated to educating and inspiring wedding filmmakers. And in this video, I actually wanna step away from weddings quick. If you're like me, you may not only do weddings and also find yourself doing plenty of other video or photo work like commercial, corporate, and other things. And while there can be many aspects of that, one thing that I've always struggled with in offering to my clients is animation. That is, until now. That's right, I wanna talk about Brightly, a pretty inexpensive animation pack for Final Cut that is preloaded with tons of content and is pretty plug and play, letting you customize things like title animations, explainer videos, and full on character animation. I've had many commercial clients over the years want some form of animation and my ability pretty much stops at titles, but I know it can be a great revenue stream and a bonus for my clients. Anything beyond titles, I have to refer out or work with an animator on behalf of my client. And while there are definitely great ones out there, I've run into lots of problems, whether that's poor communication, high prices or subpar work, and Brightly seems to be the solution. Not only is it incredibly easy, but it's also not time consuming to learn or build out some awesome animations. To add to that, I've looked into a few other animation options and on top of having to learn a whole new program, many of them are pretty expensive or work off of a subscription model, which I hate, and Brightly's only 49 bucks. And best of all, Brightly is working with us to give three of our subscribers a completely free copy of this awesome software, so stick around to find out how you can win. But of course, there is no better way to talk about this plugin than by showing you. So let's jump into the software so I can show you a few things that Brightly is capable of. So first, a high level overview. Once everything is downloaded, you can see it comes with a variety of different categories of content which show up under the titles tab. And then there are also transitions over here as well. Also, if you open the Brightly library, there are some pre-made stories which are essentially pre-made videos that you can customize. So for example, if I have a client that wants a brief explainer video with some stats and I like this one, I can jump into any one of these and I can take out any part that I want to use and then customize it to the client. I can change text and colors to suit or really any number of things. You can also build your own things like these explainer videos using the backgrounds, which are highly customizable, as well as icons, shapes, uh, type, diagrams, and more. So I can just grab a background, I'll add in some text and a diagram, and in just a couple minutes, I've got a pretty polished looking animation. One of the cool customizations with these is that the graphs, you can, you can actually just set a value and it fills in the chart appropriately. And of course, if I line up a few of them, I can use the transitions in between them as well. Then we get into the real animation stuff. So let's go ahead here and build out a total scene. Uh, I've been working way too hard lately, so I want to escape to the beach. So I'll go into the environment tab and I can scroll through or just search what I'm looking for. And here we go. I've got a beach. Um, so I'm going to drag that onto my timeline and then the background is set. And you can even go into that and make some changes. Like you can change the time of day or you can go and change the color specifically or other things like that. Then let's jump into the character. So I'm going to look for a guy here that at least semi resembles me. Um, let's see here. Oh shoot. I feel like I probably got to go with ninja here. All right. So we're going to go with that. We're going to drag him in there. And then first things first, let's do all the customization you can do here with the character. So everything really about the character is customizable. And some of it is pre-selected because I chose a ninja. So like the hairstyles can be changed if I take off this, uh, hat or whatever, um, what they're wearing can be changed. And then the colors of everything can be changed as well. Uh, and some other things too. But beyond that, you can also work with expressions and gestures as well. So I'm gonna dial in my settings here. And then I'm gonna be thinking for my expression. And then we're gonna go with taking a photo for the gesture, that works well. And then, uh, so he's way too big for the environment right now. So I'm just gonna scale him down to make him fit better. And then one other really cool thing is that you can change like any joint on their body or any appendage. So I can go down here and I have to enable which thing I want to edit. And then if I go to the right leg, for example, and I start changing these, you can see them move. So then on top of that, you can use keyframes to dial in like precise and distinct movements that you might want to do.
Also, some of the movements like walking, for example, can be used with keyframes and tracking to make them walk across the frame or something like that, which is pretty awesome and fairly easy. And then of course I've got those transitions as well. So let's just pop in one of those in here to go between two different environments just to show you that and uh, there you go. And again, I can customize things in that as well. So again, I know this is not wedding related, but I know many people are in the same boat as me also doing corporate and commercial work. And something like this can be a great tool to create some animations if that isn't your strong suit and better serve your clients while adding another revenue stream. In just a matter of minutes, I was able to easily build out a scenario with a highly customized character, as well as a brief little infographic information, all with a plugin pack that costs only $49. I've linked the software below, but as I mentioned, Brightly has graciously offered to give away three free copies of this software to our viewers. So to be entered, just make sure you're subscribed and leave me a comment down below on this video. I'd love to hear any times that you've had to pass up animation work or what your experience has been like in that realm of animation in general. I'll give it a week or so and I'll reach out to our winners at that time. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And as always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.